So just how much battery degradation have we seen in Lucky the Tesla after seven years, 127,000 miles? Watch this video to find out. Welcome back to Test Lucky, the YouTube channel where you can follow the adventures of Lucky the Tesla. First of all, I want to give a shout out to Carly, who is not with me today. She is in South Carolina visiting a friend. And yesterday she traveled on an airplane for the first time by herself. Ooh, she's growing up so fast, 15. Hi, Carly. Hope you're having a good time in South Carolina. Also want to say hello to the 50 new subscribers of Test Lucky that we picked up on our 4,000 mile road trip. We just got back. We had some signage, some decals on the windows of the car to draw attention to Lucky the Tesla and try to encourage people to subscribe, say hi, check out our channel. We are very happy uh, that our 50 new subscribers are here. If you are one of those subscribers that saw us on the recent road trip and are new to Test Lucky, please leave us a comment below. Welcome. I have a lot of notes for this video because I want to get through this very efficiently in the right sequence and there's a lot of data, a lot of dates here. This video is all about battery life, the battery health of Lucky the Tesla after 127,000 miles, nearly seven years. Just how much range have we lost with Lucky and her battery, the high voltage lithium ion battery we are going to find out a lot of people ask about this topic when they find out that lucky is an older Tesla they ask I mean how's the battery have you seen have you lost a lot of range are you gonna have to buy a new battery soon is it still in warranty we get a lot of those questions so we actually posted a video on this very same topic back on November 4th of 2022 at hundred and eight thousand miles and that video performed very well for our small channel. It has currently 1,120 views and 45 likes. So I think there's a lot of interest on this topic. And so we've decided to do an update video every 25,000 miles about how Lucky's uh, battery is holding up uh, over time. And we would have posted this video sooner but we just got lucky back um, after 78 days in the body shop following a car accident. So we have a playlist on that series. Unfortunately, the story is not done yet. Lucky is gonna have to return to the body shop for some refinements on the repairs. So there will be a PS uh, video added to that series uh, in the new future, in the near future. Click the bell for notifications if you don't wanna miss that video. So, uh, so we lost Lucky for 78 days and then we were on a 4,000 mile road trip and we hit 125,000 miles in the middle of that road trip. By the way, there are two road trip videos in the editing room, uh, this summer's road trip and last summer's road trip, which is almost done. And I'm hoping to focus more time on these road trip videos uh, very soon. Another reason to click the bell for notification. So, all right, let's get to battery health. First, the specs, the details you need to know about Lucky the Tesla. We acquired Lucky on March 28, 2019. Carly's birthday. We have a wonderful video about Lucky's adoption day. For anyone new to the channel, you can go back to the beginning. Highly recommend that video, which shows the delivery of Lucky into our life. And let's see, on August 28th of this year, 2023, Lucky will be seven years old. Here's her specs. She's a 2016 P90D Model X free supercharging for life, lithium ion battery. We love Lucky. Okay, 
So the other thing I want to say is that we, for daily use, because we have a lithium ion battery, which charges very slow when you get near to 100%. I have recently learned that that's an intentional kind of scientific fact with the battery that uh, it's different from the lithium ion phosphate batteries. We kind of cover some of those differences in our Taylor Swift road trip video when we had that 78 day experience in the Model 3. So for daily use, we charge Lucky to 80 to 90 percent. Uh, today, we're, I'm sitting at the Big Pine Key Superchargers, where if you charge your Tesla here, uh, you definitely want to leave us a comment and let us know, and you will definitely see roosters and deer key deer at this supercharging stop they're always here today we're charging all the way to a hundred percent and we're gonna see what the comparison is between today and when we last did this experiment for the video at 108,000 miles uh, so uh, by the way, at these uh, Big Pine Key Superchargers, I am keeping track of the fastest charge that we get on each stall. So far, the highest that we have seen is 171 kilowatts, which I do think is a good indicator of Lucky's uh, battery health. The original range on Lucky at the time of the original sale to the original owner was 250 miles with a full charge. On April 6, 2019, right after we acquired Lucky, there was 244 miles of range on a full charge. That's the highest number that I have ever seen since we've owned Lucky, which is now like four and a half years. So the, when we did that last experiment, uh, at 108,000 miles, we that was October 14th of 2022, and we had 231 miles of range. So we had only lost like 13 miles, and the comparison from the 231 miles to the original 250 represents a 9.24% degradation pretty pretty darn good very very happy with that so now what is it today have we lost a few more miles we will charge to 100 percent and we will show you wow did that take a long time it took forever to get lucky to charge to 100 percent on the supercharger today i know it has a lot to do with the fact that we have a lithium lithium ion battery but maybe it has something to do with the fact that it's 91 degrees in the shade oh what a heat wave we're having this summer okay now it's going to be the big reveal how many miles are we going to get on a full 100 percent charge with lucky let's see Okay, now you can see that Lucky is at 100% battery. And when I go to uh, display and I change energy display from percentage to distance, then we will see the big reveal and we use rated not ideal. And it shows 227 miles of range. So we have lost four miles of range between 108,000 miles and 127,000 miles. So almost 25,000 miles, more like 24,000 miles. We have lost 4%, not 4%. We have lost four actual miles. Now, if we go to ideal, it actually says 281 miles, but I just don't go on ideal. I don't think anything is uh, ideal in the world. I like to go with, uh, with rated. So I think this is very interesting data. As a Tesla owner, I am very pleased with this data. Lucky does have one more full year, actually like 13 months now under the warranty, uh, eight year warranty on this battery. But I seriously doubt we're gonna be anywhere near a battery claim. I think 30% degradation is a battery claim. And in the last 24,000 miles, we have gone from 9.4% degradation 
to 9.8% degradation. Hardly anything. Super pleased. Good job, Lucky. Uh, your battery is really, really going the distance. Thumbs up from uh, Test Lucky. So if you find this video interesting, these, uh, da this data helpful, please click like. It makes a big difference to a small channel like us. The more likes we get, the more likely the algorithm will share our content with other people who are interested in Tesla performance data, battery health data, battery life on the vehicle. It just helps. It's a little thing. Please give us a like. That sounded like begging. I'm sure Carly thought that was cringy. I'm sorry, Carly. I sure do miss you. Let's see. That's uh, pretty much everything that we were planning to cover today. Uh, same day today, we are posting the maintenance and repairs cost video at the 127 mile marker so i will cue that one up in one of these corners and i will let youtube pick another video from our channel that they think you would enjoy thank you so much for watching test lucky